ponies obviously because I felt like it'd probably be a little bit weird if I was going somewhere else and bringing you along because typically I tend to just bring you along to the horsey stuff. So yes we are heading to the ponies now, just need to get my coat on, hat on, boots on, all that jazz. It is currently 12 o'clock, Remy's got the physio today at 1.30, I want to try and ride Mara, I don't know if I'll get time to do it before but if not we'll ride her afterwards but yeah I'll bring you along for the physio session, we've got our new physio. So Callie, I say new physio, um, Remy's never actually had a physio before. He's had other kinds of therapists, 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 blah, blah, blah. therapists um, come up and treat him before, but this is the first time he's ever had a physio. So I've got nothing to compare it to. He's had her, um, Callie, come and see him once before and I found the whole thing fascinating. It was absolutely, it was just really informative. Callie's super knowledgeable and the way she explains everything makes it really easy for a layman to understand. I don't know a great deal about horse anatomy. Well, I don't know anything about horse anatomy, but she makes it really easy to understand. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to today. Um, I'm wearing cream today. Some might say that's a bold choice around horses, but I love cream and I'll be covered up anyway because it's super chilly outside. It's really windy today, super windy. Um, so yeah, I'll have lots of layers on around me as well. But anyway, let's go. <laughs> your attention uh just in case you don't watch any further than this i want to say a massive thank you to each oh good driving as i was saying i want to say a massive thank you oh my god this is another where are these people coming from as i was saying i want to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you that watched our last video and sent kind well wishes to remington it does not go unnoticed it is very much appreciated and anyone that just takes time out of the day to send us a lovely comment well you deserve a medal maybe not a medal but maybe a prize or something like that I don't have a prize to give you but know that you'll get my thanks <laughs> after my crisps. Anyone else's horse eat absolutely everything and anything? Apparently he wants a barbecue beef hula hoop. Are you gonna have it? <laughs> nice? Nice? Twiglets are his fave. Anyway, I've come for your head colour. We're gonna tie you up. Oh, yeah. now obviously we've still got Mara over there next door um, we're not quite there yet <laughs> won't be leaving him here by himself he is now getting left 
just um, on his own when he's ridden. So you are getting better. He calls quite a lot um, and he still does a lot of box walking. But I think we're making improvements. I want to get him a mirror to pop up here. I don't know whether that'll work, but a few people have suggested that if you get the horse a stable mirror, they think there's another horse in there with them. So maybe that might placate him. I don't know. We will see. Tracking down a mirror suitable for a stable and that's large enough as well is not an easy task. I've been searching on Amazon because so I thought that would be a good place to start. Obviously, I don't want to pay over the earth for a stable mirror. Um, I'd probably break it, but yeah. I don't know though, that is just one suggestion um, that someone came up with of ways that we could kind of keep him occupied and happy whilst on box rest. Ah, oh, there are lots of other things as well, things like treat rules, but with him and the laminitis, the idea is to keep them as still as possible, really. Obviously, you're not going to keep a horse still, um, but you don't want to encourage them to move around. So, something like a treat ball would, that's what it obviously does. So, yeah, we don't want him wandering around the box. So we've just been doing things like lots of grooming, really. Um, he's never looked so clean. That is one bonus that's come out of box rest. A negative is his tummy. I cannot believe how large he has got in such a short space of time. What are we on? Are we on week two? So it'll be three weeks this tomorrow. Three weeks tomorrow? Uh, yeah, three weeks tomorrow since he first, um, since he went down to laminitis. And despite the fact he is getting a significantly reduced dinner, he's getting soaked hay, so it's soaked for at least 12 hours, so all the sugar's coming out of it. Um, yeah, the lack of exercise is really getting to your tummy, isn't it? Looking a little round, aren't you, Remy? Yeah. Let's go from the back, because then you can fully appreciate just how wide that tummy is. It's so frustrating as well because I finally managed to get him looking lean and mean. He looked in the best shape that he's ever possibly done, weight wise. Um, he's always been a little bit porky, but with lots of work and stuff and the right feed, we managed to get him mm, looking perfect just on top of it. And yeah, now this, but hey ho, it's another battle. I'm sure we'll nip him down again. You need to go on Weight Watchers, don't you, Rem? Yeah, but I've never known him to be so interested in food. I mean, I guess he's got nothing else to be, Ooh, as I was saying, I've, he's turned into such a foodie. Remy's never been the kind of horse that's been super obsessed with food. Hardy and Mara, they are literally, they will go nuts for food. They will eat all day, every day. They will scoff literally anything you pop in front of them. Whereas Remy's kind of like, mm, yeah, take it or leave it. If he's hungry, he'll eat. If he isn't, he'll just stand there and chill. But at the moment, oh my goodness. What he turned into? Wow, this is the wind that I was talking about. Silly gosh, I'm going to get blown away. <laughs> You're so cheeky. No. Whilst I went away, he was trying to get in the grooming box to eat the crisps. Remington. Ren. Absolutely not for horses. I know this is naughty, but I kind of just want to see if we can actually get them out of there. Before I get really aggressive in a minute. Oh, okay, just do that. Normally it gives the box a big boot. Good. That is good. They just means that there's good 
uh, circulation down here. Okay. So I thought it's a fairly sort of minor episode. Yeah. So I've done, sometimes I've done quite significant amnesty cases. Oh, really? Like I can't get anything. Oh, wow, okay. Wonderful time. All he needs is someone handing him grapes now. Yeah, yeah. maybe fanning him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Ren has had his very first Indiba session for treatment, should I say, and it went really well. So Indiba is used to treat a number of different conditions, one of them being laminitis. So we were very keen to give it a try on Remy today, and yeah, he tolerated it really well. Um, he got a bit funny towards the end and he's just spent the last five minutes just wandering around his box and like stamping his feet. Callie said she'd never seen that kind of reaction before but he seems to have settled down now and he's kind of like relaxing off so you can see there he's yawning away um, which that's the usual kind of release that he'd give if he'd had a physio treatment. He looks pretty mellow now. So we shall keep an eye on him over the next week or so and see how it goes for his feet. But it's supposedly supposed to decrease any pain, reduce any inflammation and promote healing. So fingers crossed it works really well on Remy and we start seeing some positive improvement. But you are feeling a bit better, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Kelly's hiding at the back there. Trying to, get out trying to get out of shot. Kelly wants to get out of shot and I want to try and get Remy in shot. Several hours have passed. In fact, it's now the next day. I did ride Mara in the end yesterday. The weather was awful. Not all this in the background. They've taken down the barn and they are building a new one. Yeah, so I didn't ride Mara yesterday. The weather was so bad. The wind was just awful. Um, I wanted to hack her and I thought there's no way I'm hacking her in that wind. So she just did some work on the lunge instead and she was a very good girl. Gonna ride her this morning in the school. Again, the weather isn't great as you can tell by my hair. I got caught in the most torrential, um, I was gonna say storm, uh, torrential shower whilst I was mucking out. Oh, sorry, I just had to turn you around there. My them aching yeah I got caught in the most torrential shower whilst I was mucking out so I'm now suitably drenched but yeah I'm gonna school Mara this morning um, here is Remy after his treatment yesterday um, I'm gonna walk him out in a minute and see see how he's doing um, after yesterday but yeah so we will do some work with Mara in the school I'll give you a little update on her you. She's a happy girl as long as she's tucking into her hay. Well, good girl. So Mara's actually been going really well. Obviously at the moment I'm doing... You don't agree do you Remy? <laughs> Obviously at the moment I'm doing a lot more with her whilst Remy's off work. Um, so yeah, I'm very fortunate enough to be able to have her to play with as well. So, a little bit of background info on Mara. She is obviously a traditional gypsy cop, she's the mayor, and she is rising seven, obviously technically in the horse terms. She turned seven on the 1st of January, but we like to celebrate their birthdays here, so and no one wants to be any older than, than they are. So yeah, so she's six, rising seven. Up until now, Mara has had a really easy ride. Kelly, her owner, so Kelly, she owns both Mara and Remy, who's over there. Um, she's taken things really slowly with her. She is her main rider. I chip in every now and then. Kelly's main focus with the horses is hacking. That's her thing. That's what she loves to do. So Mara has done a lot and lot of hacking. It's made up the bulk of her work. And we think that is a really good thing. It strengthens them up, it gets them out, it lets them see the world. It kind of gives them new experiences. So 
that's what Mara has done the most of. She has done schooling, she's been jumped as well, she's been to clinics, she's been to lessons, but now we're kind of ready, or we think she's ready to kind of just take it up the next level and do a little bit more work. Obviously she is still growing, um, so she's kind of been worked, had a few easy weeks, worked, had a few easy weeks. That's kind of how we've done things with her. Um, traditional cobs, they are notoriously late maturers. Remy actually didn't stop growing until he was maybe 11 and what, he's 13 now. So she's six, so she's got a long way to go before she's fully strengthened up. So we don't wanna do anything too much too soon with her. That's why we've taken things nice and slow. So. So, like I say, I've been doing a little bit of work with her whilst Remy has been off. Schooling is my thing, that's what I love to do, so it kind of works out really well. Kelly does a lot of the hacking, and I do the work in the school. I do love hacking her as well, though. She is a super fun pony to ride. She's so whizzy. She has been going really well, though. She's a quick learner. I love traditional cobs for their nature. They are so willing to learn. They're really keen and they give you their absolute all. So she's a little trier. It's different riding a mare though. She's completely different to Remy. Um, I'm very much used to geldings and you can kind of, you know, they don't take much persuading. But mares, they are a different kettle of fish. But someone said to me though, if you've got a good mare, um, be willing to put the work in. And we think she's gonna be pretty special one day. The um, aim this summer is to try and get her out to some competitions ridden. So that'll be exciting. She's been out in hand quite a few times and she's done really well actually. But it'd be nice to get her out under saddle. So yeah, we're gonna take her in the school now. I probably won't be able to show you a great deal. So I'll show you um, some clips from our ride the other day. And if I can find some, I'll show you um, some clips from our ride a few weeks ago so you can kind of see how she's progressed. She is still very green in the school, she's babyish um, and we're still learning but yeah like I say she's a really quick learner and she picks things up. She's sharp, she's, she's sharp, sharp in mind and sharp in body so we think she's gonna be a good little horse. Mara's tack is pretty simple. She is just in a a cavison, um, a simple bridle with a cavison noseband. She's got a full cheek snaffle with a French link, and then her saddle is actually a GP um, saddle. Obviously, she's really small. She's well, she's not really small. She's thirteen two, but I'm five foot seven, so I'm quite tall. So finding a saddle to fit her. But this has got a, so it's a bigger seat or something with shorter panels. Don't ask me, I'm not a saddler. But basically it's a really nice saddle and it fits her perfectly. Never thought we'd find a saddle to fit you. She doesn't look overly impressed about going to do some work. The, like I say, the weather is shocking here. Um, <laughs> so let's just hope we don't get rained on. Rem is very chilled and calm at the moment, but that will all change when we take Mara away in a moment. He's got some hay, he's got a nice big bed. Just stand there quietly, please. <laughs> of just let her take in her environment I'm not asking too much of her I do exactly the same with Remy as well I'm not letting her just amble around you know she's walking out with purpose this seems to work well both Remy and Mara I think it's just important just to let them take in their environment I sit quite quietly and I just let them have a think about what we're about to do and then I'll move on 
and I do a lot of transitions. So we do hulk transitions, we do hulk to trot transitions, just to get her off my leg. She's naturally very forward, but can always, we can never do too many transitions. on to film today so I've reused some footage from a couple of days ago she was really spicy that day so she was super keen but with her what we are working on at the moment is just trying to get her in a nice consistent rhythm obviously like I say she's quite green so her thing to do is just to get faster and faster and that's obviously through lack of balance so I make sure I stay as nice and as still in the saddle as possible try and ride her with because obviously I don't want to be enabling her to go any faster but no she settled down really nicely today and I was really pleased with her work so I do a lot of work with her on a circle obviously it's harder for her on a straight line she just gets faster and faster um, but on the circle she's got time to balance herself so we do a lot of work on the circle and our favorite exercise to do at the moment is so spiraling in and out so we do leg yielding into the center of the circle and then we come back out again towards the track and that really helps her just um just use herself carry herself and it kind of yeah keeps her in a really good rhythm that's one of my favorite exercises anyway i do that a lot with remy too i absolutely love riding the youngsters as well not only are you there teaching them things they teach you things as well so they make you think about things that you might not normally think about i know when i get on remy um it's a horse i've ridden for the best part of seven years now i'm very comfortable with riding him and i feel like that when you come a bit comfortable you can get a bit flat in your riding um well i know i can anyway so riding her the slightest little things i don't know say for example like moving your shoulders just on the circle just to encourage her to take the right bend it's things like that that maybe i don't know i don't do as much on him because he kind of knows what to do uh does that make sense <laughs> i don't know so they make you think anyway about yourself and how best to position yourself I guess as a rider um so yes thank you Mara I'm very grateful for that thank <laughs> you good girl yeah worked really hard today yes you did so that is us all done um that's this video all wrapped up I'm gonna pop you away um we're not gonna put you out no I was gonna say we're gonna turn you out we are not gonna turn you out you're gonna go back and your brother be your best nurse um but yeah that is us all done thank you for watching if you enjoyed please do give it a huge thumbs up as that means the world to us maybe leave a cheeky comment if you're feeling super generous and we will see you very soon <laughs>